So the question is, do you guys feel like having a beginner or up and coming section to tournaments would be, we just have like the open bracket tournaments where everybody can come in. So you can be in your pool and be filled in a bracket with a lot of sharks. So it could be a benefit to have like an up and coming section to tournaments, but just overall, do you guys feel like it would be a good idea for the community, for those who are just getting in or those who just feel like they're not as good as like the people like the Daigo, the Justin Wong, so we know it's just probably going to be in the top eight and stuff like that. So we'll start with Devin. How do you feel about it? Honestly, I think it'll be a cool idea to implement. You could start like some type of beginner league or intermediate league or something like that. If people you know, had enough interest or wanted to put time and effort into it. Um, because th this one thing for sure, I know that with fighting games, you know, you got all different type of level of players. Um, and a lot of times the casuals, like beginner casuals, some of these people actually want to take the game a little further, you know, expand their knowledge on it. But some people just hate to lose just at a beginner level. It's not they don't even care about learning. It's just like I hate to lose. So I feel like if you put a lot of these people against each other, like similarly um, skill level, similar skill levels, it might take away some of that. They might feel like there's a little more hope for them to like learn because if they can play against somebody that's their skill level. They might have a better chance of winning, which therefore might make them want to stay and play a little longer. Um, and that might make them say, hey, I want to take this further. I want to increase my knowledge even more to become, become intermediate, you know, maybe even advanced. Um, there's one thing do I, I think that some people might try to do is like sandbag, though, which is like you might have somebody come into a beginner league match or bracket and be like, yeah, I'm so-and-so. And then they start, you know, have like practice match or something like that. And like, oh, this guy can't even do a Hadouken. He's, he's definitely a beginner. And then he gets into the actual match. He's like doing infants. He's like, hey, I thought she was a beginner, bro. So there would have to be some way to um, uh, mitigate, like, if people are actually, like, the skill level they say they are. Like, are you going to go by, like, the ranks online? Or you have, like, people play, like, a preliminary match to actually see. Again, they might be sandbagging. But that's that's the only thing I think that, for me, is kind of, uh, like, up in the air. Like, how are we going to determine these players are actually beginners? But I do think it's actually cool to do that because, I mean, that way you can give people different chances. Maybe, like a smaller prize pool for that uh beginner league or whatever um but i also do like seeing people just come out of just the open brackets and just start demolishing top players and known players when you get that person that just comes i know like oh, who you know and you don't see it often often but you do see it enough where it's like it's a thing you know that like oh you got this this bracket is filled with you know just along the die goes the jdcrs the knees all that and then somebody's bought from down the street like hey man i came to play you know, so I do think that's dope. But, um, yeah, I think that something like that could be cool. Just if people are interested in it, like I said, the only thing I feel like is people going to be sandbag. Like, yeah, man, I, I don't know how to do a Tatsumaki. And then he come in there doing infinite. So I'm like, hey, bro, you're not a beginner, man. Get out of here. You got to get that first weight, that first place, any way possible, man. <laughs> Jeez. Well, um, in my opinion, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it would be a uh, – I definitely agree that it would be a good idea to have a beginner slash up and coming league because um, I think on the one hand you have it. So when people start out playing a game, they kind of want to feel like they're developing um, in most cases. Cause you know, if you come in and you're getting demolished uh, by people, like if you come in at a lower level and um, you know, it's an open bracket and you happen to meet somebody like, let's say knee or Daigo or somebody like that, your first, your first uh, match, and you get demolished and somebody tells you, oh, yeah, man, well, that's like, I mean, well, that was expected, man. You were going to lose to that guy regardless. But it's like, you know, it, that doesn't make you feel any better. You know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, OK, I just got demolished. And then maybe you're a little demoralized. So then you lose your next, next match regardless of who you're playing. Right. But um, coming in, sometimes it's, um, you know, playing against like really tough players. It's really especially if you're doing it consistently it's really hard to gauge whether or not you're developing as a player. Um, when, um, I've had um, instances where I've played um, uh, players who, like in Soul Calibur, I've played people who are way kind of way above my skill level, and you play them um, over and over again, and you now they notice that you're getting better, but at the same time, you don't recognize that because you're just playing them, and it just seems like you're just getting demolished over and over and over again, but they're seeing the inter incremental increase but you don't see it because you're just playing tough enemies over and over again. Now it's good for you, but good for your skill level, but for your morale, it's not necessarily the best. So if you're in a situation where you're playing people 
who are around your skill level, you have a chance to um, really kind of, I mean, it gives you a chance to meet people, number one, who are your skill level. So you kind of have a chance to grow as a group. So you meet people that um, you guys can learn from each other and then maybe like they can see, they can actually tell you, they you can get a perspective from another beginner player. They're like, wow, man, you're getting better. You know, like you guys see each other uh, getting better. Um, I think that's one of the best things. But at the same time, I also agree with Devin about like a, um, a new player just coming out of nowhere and demolishing a top player, you know, that leads to some really hype moments, man. We go, oh my God, I can't believe he just lost like that. Holy crap, this guy, we've never even heard of him before. So, you know, those are always some of the best instances in the FGC where some guy like some sh uh, Joe Schmo off the street just comes in, picks up a controller and just wins a tournament. So, I mean, it, it's uh, both either way, I think, but I really do think it's really, it would um, contribute to a lot of uh, player retention if we had a, uh, a beginner league so people could um, kind of, uh, I would say, uh, 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 acclimate to um, fighting games a little better. And then you can see, they be like, okay, you know what, I'm, I want to get more deep with this game, you know? It gives them a chance to really um, uh, figure out what, what their mindset is in terms of whether or not they want to continue playing the game or not. So. I would say that that is a good idea. Wow, you guys were so articulate and, and nice about the situation. And unfortunately, I absolutely disagree. Um, not only as a TO that understands the logistics of running a tournament, but, and, and, and mind you, I'm coming from a different era, so I could be wrong. And I, 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 and I accept that. But I disagree with what you're saying because of certain reasons, right? You're, we're talking about weight classes and things of that nature. All right, let's say we're talking about final round. You go to your first final round where you see all these big names and everybody comes in. What were you doing with your time before then? Were you not supporting your locals? Were you not playing poke chop every week? So that when you ran into a Daigo or a knee, you were prepared? Because these people play on those levels. You understand what I'm saying? You got to support your locals. So when you run into a big tournament, you already took a, took your bops. Going 0-2. Vaye's come to find around and went 0-2. Because he ran into somebody that held down back while he was trying to rush them down. It's a reality of life. Um, you're going to always run into people that are better than you. You might run into just a bad matchup for you. Like I used to lose to Blancas all the time when I played Goken in Street Fighter uh, 4. Uh, there's just some character archetypes that may not be your type. It doesn't mean that you're bad. But how your question, basically, the intent of the question is, how do you make a tournament more appealing so that the player keeps on coming? I don't know if there's a setup that can. Is there a tournament maybe we should run um events maybe we should run more um you know leagues but when you go to a major tournament you play like everybody if you get your bop you get your bop i don't know if you guys remember this but when gamer b first came up gamer b made it the top eight in street fighter 4 nobody knew who gamer b was and he was mixing those fool with a character that america thought was trash Nobody had any respect for Adon in Street Fighter 4 until Gamer B brought him up. So, my advice is that um, gauging growth and making people's interest stay is something that has to be done internally and at the local level. Support your locals, gain your experience, go to a tournament, learn more, grow more, stay in the community. But to just Put it the onus on the TOs. There's there's too much going on now. Now I'm running two or three different Street Fighter Five tournament tournaments. And like you said, how do I know if you're not sorry here? But like like the question I wrote down is a lack of tournament experience doesn't mean that there's a lack of skill. You understand what I'm saying? Because that dude that you mentioned, that dark horse, could show up at the tournament and bop people that are considered international world level skill, but they never been out before. I think Cloud805 did that. Cloud805 was just complete online, but the moment he hit the tournament grounds, boom, 
because he stopped that Phoenix thing with that um with that power with that uh THC glitch or not THC <laughs> uh the, the glitch that uh <laughs> I'm in California don't judge me um <laughs> yeah the tag glitch right but uh with that said to 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 summarize uh no and no I don't agree with it people need to support their locals more gain their experience go to majors get their bops or victories and then and and you you pointed some logistic issues how can i say oh you were sandbagging what if you're just really a good player and you just don't have tournament experience so you came in on the low tournament experience thing and then you win it you could you blow everybody out the water i'm just saying 